Walking can be even more important than looks. And walking distinguishes you from other women. Even if you have lots of beautiful, very nicely dressed women, when they're walking, Hello my dear viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a video about feminine and sensual walking. First of all, I want to warmly welcome all of my new subscribers. Thanks to my video about the feminine and sophisticated standing positions, I got many new subscribers and I'm really, really happy about that. I'm happy that you liked that video. I will link it down below for those of you who haven't seen it. Please excuse my voice, I have been a little bit sick recently, so that's why my voice is not like always, but I hope it won't bother you too much. So let's start. As you know, walking is very, very important. It's a very important feature of a feminine and sophisticated lady. Walking can be even more important than looks. And walking distinguishes you from other women. Even if you have lots of beautiful, very nicely dressed women, when they walk and when their posture is bad, it won't help them. In contrast, if you are someone, a woman who walks in a beautiful way, who knows how to move her body, who knows how to position herself, that will make up a lot of things and it will give you the je ne sais quoi. It will give you the little, that little something that is missing to many, many other women. All of you should be able to walk femininely and gracefully and sensually. And in this video I will show you how to walk like that without appearing exaggerated. So it will still look natural and when people will see you, they won't really know what it is about you. I will show you how to walk in heels, then how to walk in flats and how to walk in sneakers. Because it makes a big difference whether you walk in heels or in sneakers. And you will know why. So let's start with the heels. I have some heels on. I will go to the back, but first I will explain to you what is important with all shoes your posture. The basic posture that you have always to think about is pull your head up on an imaginary string. Pull your chin back so that you don't appear arrogant and don't have the, the wrong position in your neck. So head up, like grow a little bit, push back your chin and then roll your shoulders back Activate your core, meaning that your belly will be flat and your pelvis should be neutral, in a neutral position. Everything relaxed and this is your basic posture. So number one, walking in heels like those. But of course also walking in very small heels. If you are not secure in heels, I, I recommend you to use heels like that, that are more stable. It will also give you more confidence in your walk. You should avoid those very, very narrow heels. So first of all, when we walk in heels, the heels take away lots of work from us, meaning that they will make us walk femininely and sensually almost automatically when we unlock our hips. So the first thing will be that you unlock your hips because you need loose hips in order to walk naturally feminine and sensual. Then the second thing is the position of your feet. You have to put one feet in front of the other like walking on a line but not across. Remember this is not a catwalk. And we don't want to walk like on the catwalk because this is not natural and it's exaggerated and you will just appear strangely. So just like on a straight line or next to each other, almost on a line. And then the third thing is put your heels first and then your toes, but don't stamp. 
never stamp. Do it like a cat. So now I will show you how to walk in heels. So we start with our basic posture. Our head is pulled up by an imaginary string. Our chin goes backwards, our shoulders roll back, the core is activated and our hips are neutral. Now we unlock our hips. You remember how that goes? So your hips have to be unlocked and we walk straight putting one foot in front of the other and letting the hips move naturally but not too much. So let's go! So you see, the way I'm walking is not a catwalk and I really had to be conscious about my hips. Naturally, I would have exaggerated them more. That's because heels push your back and your hips in a different position anatomically. The higher the heels, the more you have to pay attention not to become too exaggerated. So this is too much. Always keep your hands swinging next to you unless you are wearing a handbag. I will also show you that. Then in that case you will have your handbag on one arm. The other arm can swing and don't look on the floor. That's also important. Now how to walk in flats. So I already feel different <laughs> because now I'm more on, on the earth and when I wouldn't think about it, I would just walk like this. And this is very neutral. So now I really have to think about my hips and I have to exaggerate them a little bit. So when you walk, apply the same technique, one foot in front of the other, but try to exaggerate a little bit. For you it might appear a lot, but it won't. It will just give you this sensual walk. So you see, the movement of my hips looks the same as with the heels, but with the heels I reduced it and with the flats I exaggerated it. This is one thing that you have to think about. Now I will also show you how to walk with the sneakers. With the sneakers it's basically the same technique as with the flats. So what you have to do is exaggerate your hip movement a little bit. What is also important when you are wearing flats or sneakers is your feeling. Because as I said the, the high heels give you this sensual feeling immediately, this feminine feeling because they change your posture a little bit. The sneakers and the flats don't so you have to be more conscious about that and just feel femininely and uh, remember that you are a sensual and a feminine woman. After a while, when you are really used to walking like that, it will come automatically. But in the beginning, you will always forget about it. And it also happens to me when I'm in a hurry, for example, or I'm, I'm, I'm running errands, I'm going to work, etc. I forget about my walk sometimes. And I just walk very fast, really, really fast. I lock my hips, I don't pay attention to my posture, I have my arms unrelaxed. My tip is when you are on your way to work or you're going somewhere, etc., just remember once or twice a day, 
think about your walking posture and then you will automatically slow down and you will correct your posture walk slowly walk more sensually more femininely it won't come automatically directly but when you remember several times a day and correct your posture and correct your walking technique then after a time it will become more familiar and it will come more naturally so this is something that i would like to give you in this way one more thing think that you want to float think of a dancer a dancer who floats on the dance floor this imaginary picture will also give you a different feeling especially when you are one of those persons who likes to push their heels or their feet very strongly in the floor don't do that always just think that you want to float then you will avoid this hard aggressive step especially with heels and avoid the following things first of all avoid walking fast i know we live in a stressful time but it really really changes your appearance and i will show you in the end because my friend made some videos some short videos of me outside when i'm walking fast and stressed and in conference when i'm walking consciously and you will see the difference so stay till the end pay attention to that to not walking fast unless it's an emergency and you really have to get somewhere fast avoid to lock your hips if you have problems with unlocking your hips do some of the exercises in my sensual hip video as i said i will link it down below avoid stamping that's number one really don't stamp don't push your heels slowly into the floor as i already said avoid a bad arms posture because the arms also do a lot either let them loosely or swing them but don't hold them like this or like this just keep them relaxed and neutral and as a last don't and keep it natural because that's the most important if it's artificial if it's exaggerated it's not natural so it won't become natural you will appear maybe too arrogant maybe exaggerated it won't be a positive impression and you want of course to leave a positive impression i hope you like this video now as i said now my small examples will follow, so enjoy. I will show you some do's and don'ts in daily life walking. And in the end, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, as I said, please subscribe because more videos are going to follow. So see you in the next one. Bye bye. One last secret, in addition to your feminine walk, always remember to smile. <laughs>